Thanks for checking out this demo of CapFlight Pro. I want to walk you through a typical first mission after you first download the app. So once you download the app, let's go to the settings screen. Find CapFlight Pro on the left and put in a, your name, weight, and tail number of the aircraft you fly the most often and also the wing. These values will be used as defaults in the application. You can also put the email in there for the uh, emailing the files. Now let's open the app and you'll see that it gives you a warning that the aircraft is not loaded in the database. So let's click the aircraft button in the lower right. This will take us to the aircraft database editor. If your wing is uh, participating in the automatic aircraft import, then click that, find your wing, and then click load aircraft. It's very important to notice that it is up to you to validate that the empty weights and CGs are correct. As you'll see in this version, the weights and CGs are loaded uh, automatically. But I definitely encourage you to validate that they're okay. So let's go back to the main screen. Let's enter our new mission number. So a white button means that it's available to push. And we can enter a new mission and it'll also ask you for a new sortie. So let's go ahead and add some personnel into the database. So click personnel at the bottom right and go into the personnel editor. And here we want to add the names, cap IDs, weights, and phone numbers of the people that we fly with most often. This is optional, so it's not required. For instance, if you're doing O flights, you don't have to put the cadets' names in here. You can add their weights in manually, um, just as a generic passenger or generic scanner. But we'll go ahead and add three crew members in here. And the nice thing about this is the weights will be loaded automatically in the weight and balance form. And you also have the cap IDs and phone numbers for reference when you fill out the AIF form or uh, you know other areas where you might need that information. Let's go back. We see we have the date and our aircraft is selected. Let's go ahead and put our crew in here. And you can also click the plus sign to add crew members as well. Or click none if you auto if you uh, mistakenly add somebody. Uh, this is the ORM form, so just push the buttons with the appropriate hazard values. Hopefully you've seen this with the ORM worksheet and or CAT pre-flight apps before. That looks good, so let's go ahead and go back. So green means that it's completed, and we'll do the weight and balance, and you can see the names are automatically in there, the weights are in there, so we'll just add some baggage, just change the flight time, and your weight and balance is done. The aircraft inspection form is the CAP Form 71. This is a fairly long form, but you can just enter in the appropriate values here. And uh, on the checklist, you can see that everything defaults to yes, so if there are discrepancies, just click no. And then in the remarks section, just add the discrepancy in. And this will automatically fill out the Form 71 for you. So for instance here, we're just going to say that we need to do a VRR check before we take off. So we can check the forms by clicking Preview and Open In. And you can see the forms, and you can also manipulate the forms with the Action button in the upper right. 
send them to different applications. And we can also click the Email Completed Forms button. And this will preload all the forms as attachments into the email. Also adds the ORM total risk value and the weight and balance information as text, which you can cut and paste into your 104 form. Thanks for watching the demo. Send feedback to bigfootpilot at gmail.com.